Today's uh, gospel describes uh, Jesus' uh, mirac miraculous feeding of a great multitude. We'll be hearing uh, about the discourse on bread for the for four week, four weeks actually. The story is told in all our four gospels and serves as Jesus' uh, way of introducing to those listening a merciful and providing God. This miraculous feeding was meant to remind people of God's provision of manna in the wilderness and to foreshadow the true heavenly bread which Jesus would offer those who listened, believed, and chose to receive. Moses, Elijah, and Elisha had all fed people without benefit of resources. An important aspect of this miracle, which we heard today, that is easy to miss, is that Jesus multiplied the loaves and fishes through his disciples' uh, instrumentality. He did this by inviting them to assist in the distribution of the loaves and in the gathering of the fragments left over. This reveals that God often uses us as some members of his super abundant graces given to others. We are mediators of his grace. As you ponder this miracle, try to see yourself as one of the disciples who was invited to di distribute the bread to the people. Jesus gave the bread to his hungry disciples with the instruction to first give it to others. Spiritually speaking, the same is true with us. When we receive spiritual nourishment from our Lord, our first thought must be to give it away. We must first see all that we receive from God as an opportunity to bestow those blessings upon others because a gift is given or meant to be shared. Every gift we, we receive from God must be understood as a gift given to us so that we can immediately share it with others in need. The good news is that when we seek to give away what we have received, more is given to us, and in the end, we will be far richer. We may not be able to feed the hungry millions of this world, but today's gospel challenges us to do our humble share in alleviating hunger and poverty in our neighborhood with people around us. God will amplify our little contributions and reward our goodwill and generosity. Let us be thankful to Jesus for, for feeding us spiritually with the Word of God and with the Holy Eucharist today. We now bring to the Lord our needs and, and the needs of the world. For Holy Mother Church, may Christ continue to guard and guide her, shielding her from spiritual malaise, division, and strife. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders, may the Spirit grant them humble hearts, always seeking the good for the people they are entrusted to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from any ailment or burden, may the merciful gaze and touch of Christ be upon them today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of believers, may the Lord bless our humble offerings and multiply them for his glory. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may the Lord soon bring them into the fullness of his presence in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Our Mass this morning is being offered for the repose of the soul of William Borghese and Larry Kinane, and for birthday blessings for Danica Vasek, and for all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our own hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Sorry. Sorry. Father, we thank you for your love and mercy and ask you to hear and answer our prayers according to your will. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 